How you doing guys? This is Sam from Warpgate Studios. I hope you're all good. Uh, today I'm going to do a little class on dry brushing for beginners because it's one of those things that I love and I still do on a lot of things um, in the modelling uh, world. Um, and I've got a selection of metallics today. So we're gonna do some metallic dry brushing on metal. So these are the, the four paints that I'm gonna be using pretty much. Um, Vallejo uh, model metallic black, which is um, a real dark metallic color, which is really, really good base. Lead Belcher from uh, Citadel, and then three more from Citadel to give me some, some different finishes. So brass, gold and a real bright silver so without further ado i'm going to kind of go into the technique of dry brushing and what you should really be doing and then we'll kind of go from there i start with a i'm going to grab this as my palette here because i don't like using uh, it straight onto the um uh, the 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 surface here the towel that you use the kitchen towel or tissue or whatever you're going to use so um i'm going to use uh, you can kind of see how dark this uh, vallejo black metallic is super super nice paint um and uh it's a real good start for a lot of me metallics um i'm going to be using some army painter masterclass dryer brushes today very very similar to artist opus brushes um, but I just wanted to kind of try these out today. They come in a pack of three for like 20 bucks or less than that, I think it is. Um, and you get three sizes, large, medium, small. Um, I'm gonna grab the large one today and start off by just dabbing this on. So the whole process of dry brushing is getting your brush loaded up with, with the paint and then taking a lot of it off um, when you are dry brushing. So dry brushing, wow, the camera's moving there quite a bit. Um, dry brushing for this, uh, there are different techniques and with me putting base coats on, I'm gonna leave quite a lot on there still, as you can kind of tell while I'm, I'm doing this. And then I'm just gonna literally brush. It's like an up and down motion, similar to like chopsticks. And you literally get it and then just start brushing it over the model. And you can kind of see it, it taking some shape there. And I'm just going to give this a, this whole model a coat of this of this dark metallic, just a so I can kind of start seeing where all the edges are. Um, but I want to kind of just get this this on here and start building up some layers. Um, so you can kind of see putting this on here. And if I need any more, I can just go back to this or go back to my palette, grab a little bit more and then start, just get this on here. And you can start seeing that the dry brush has really, it's not a, a large coat. It doesn't give it, a, a, it just picks out um, the areas that I'm gonna be working for. And that's what I like with dry brushing is the fact that all it does is just, it gets paint on there, dries very, very quickly on the model because there's not a lot of it. Um, but it's really there just to pick out all of the edges. And you can flick up and down, or you can go in a circular motion to get all that texture if you want with a dry brush. And as I said, there's not really a lot of paint. You can't see the wetness on there. There's not a lot of wet paint on there. It just dries very, very quickly on the model, um, but gives me a really good base to start with. So this is gonna be my base coat on this model here. Um, so again, I've, I've taken a, a black prime model, given it a coat and you can start seeing that it's picking out with the, the metallic side of things. Um, the textures are on the, the metals. This is a 3D printed me model. You can kind of start seeing it's, it's pick, picking out some of these, these textures. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash my brush, uh, my heavy brush out and give that a, a, a clean. And then I'm gonna start working with some other types of brushes. So this isn't necessarily, this is just a cheap crap brush um, that I picked up. This can also be used for dry brushing as well because this is, you know, you don't need a specific brush like this to dry brush, it does help, but you can also dry brush with, with brushes like this. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna give um, the, the uh, model a lighter dry brush. So you're working on the layers and I'm gonna work up with a lighter silver color um, on my palette and just kind of work up to the really bright color here. Um, so next next coat is gonna be Lead Belcher. 
um, and I'm gonna grab a little bit of this on this massive brush and again get vast majority of the paint off you can still see it to check if you've got enough paint grab your, your finger here or your thumb and get the little grooves on your thumb and just start flicking it over because if you can then kind of tell okay I've got a bit too much on there um, and you, you don't want a lot on here when you start building up the layers um, so again I'm gonna just check on another another thing here yeah there's a little bit there less on that on that finger and that's what I want so what I'm gonna do now is again grab on here and then start working on building up on just the corners. So this should be just picking up the corners and the edges of the model uh, with the lighter brush. Um, and you can kind of just start seeing it picking out even more detail on the model. And then it's, it, it, was, it all comes together when you get to that final layer but as you can kind of see in, in here like this down here there's not going to be a lot of metallic showing it's just a natural shade and i'm just going to be working on the top here flicking the, the brush over the model and giving it some texture okay um so that's what i'm going to do with that i'm, I'm kind of happy with that it's, it's enough on that model from here and i'm going to wash this brush up and i'm going to slowly get more and more refined with what i'm doing now i'm going to take a bigger brush and we're going to do a little bit of brass scorpion on just a few panels on this now just to kind of get this picked up so this is a brass scorpion nice layer it's quite a thick layer paint from uh, uh, games workshop um, and it, it actually does really really nicely go on the model so again dip it on the model onto your palette and you can kind of see there's a little bit of a brownie, more brownie tinge to it. And I'm just gonna work out what I'm gonna pick out. So I'm gonna actually go for these pipes. These pipes are gonna, I'm gonna work on them with the dry brush. There's quite a bit of paint on this. I need to get some of that off. Um, and I'm just literally gonna paint and dry brush these pipes. Okay, and you can kind of start seeing the change in color. Um, on the pipes with the dry brush and that's all you're doing is just literally giving it a little little something just to catch the eye um, and just change that and break up the uh, break up the model a little bit I'm going to also do it on this panel here with the skull you can kind of see there I'm literally just going to pick start picking this off and just changing the texture just slightly and it's changing the color on here so you can kind of start seeing that i don't know if you can see that that well there but you just start picking it up and it gives it that bronzy feel um and i'm going to do the same on the other side as well so i'm just going to pick this this panel up and again you don't need to be really neat with dry brushing because there's not a lot of paint on your on your brush to start with so it's pretty good just to pick out a little bit so there's there's that there's that and there's some silver and the pipe so I'm, I'm i'm pretty pleased with that with the bronze um and now i'm again i've finished with the medium i'm gonna uh, throw that into my my uh, pot to get washed um and then i'm gonna try some retributor armor and this is the last one before i'm gonna get to the crazy um bright silver i'm gonna put a little bit of this gold on here and this is gonna be even brighter than the bronze i do like this on on different um fully metal models because getting some different colors on there it just stops it from being boring um so i'm gonna have a quick look on here and i'm gonna go okay well there's a couple of pipes that i could maybe do there's maybe some of this control panel that i'm gonna do and some maybe some some little pipes down here as well so i'm gonna try and pick them up um and again i'm gonna make sure there's there's quite a bit of paint on there i'm gonna take some of that off uh, and then just literally highlight and just flick with the brush on there and then flick up here. As you can see, it's kind of picking out things nicely. Uh, I'm gonna do these top two panels as well. And you can work it. The, the thing with dry brushing is having a layer on here um, that doesn't show is fine because you can build up the layers. You can kind of see that coming through now. Um, it's fine building it up. What you don't want is a really heavy layer and having to start again. So it's always better to have a lighter impact on the model and then work on it. Okay. 
Okay, that's looking pretty good as well. So there's those two panels on there on the top. Um, and then I'm gonna maybe do this great as well, just to give this a little bit of a vertical interest as well. And again, you can work in circles. Circular motion is good as well. So it's kind of picked out that as well. Um, and then maybe we do a little bit on here and here as well. There you go. And just pick that out with the dry brush as well. So uh, overall, I, I would set, go crazy on detailing this um, if you know if I had the time. But as, as far as that goes, I'm kind of happy with that. Um, there's still a lot of detail on this model, but um, we're going to finish it off now with um, a really large. Uh, we're going to get the large brush out and get all of that dark. Um, brown or black uh, metallic that we had on there. One thing you wanna be careful with when you're working with large dry brushes is making sure there's no moisture on the brush because otherwise you're just gonna end up smushing paint everywhere. Um, so as far as that goes, um, you need to make sure your brush is really, really dry. Um, so I go through a lot of kitchen towel um, because I like to make sure that it is really, really dry. Um, and getting all, you can still see that it's st stuff's coming off this brush. Um, so I give these, these dry brushes a really big clean once I'm done because there's still a lot of, of paint. You can kind of tell that there's still a ton of paint on there. But for this um, exercise, I'm just gonna get some, uh, this really bright storm host silver paint onto, uh, on the, the, the brush because this is gonna just tie everything in nicely with a, just a really nice um, light silver dry brush once we're finished. And again, try it out on your finger. If it's smushing, then you've got too much on there. I need to dry this off. It's really important on this final dry brush that you have a very, very small amount because all you're doing is picking out the edges um, of the model and uh, you, you just need to, to make sure it's it's good to go. Picked out the wrong paint then. Okay, we might need to get a little bit more on this. Ah. But I love dry brushing. Dry brushing was one of the first techniques I learned um, growing up and to this day I still use it on a hell of a lot, especially sort of terrain and larger, larger items. So of some of the big space marine vehicles you can finish off with a nice dry brush as well but uh right i think we're good to go there's still quite a bit of paint on there but it's it's working nicely um and i'm just going to do a real big pick out yeah i'm not sure if you can kind of pick that out but you can kind of go over the stuff you've done as well and uh, the different colors dry brushes so again this is just a small finishing dry brush that just picks out the most uh, interesting parts of the model, um, the corners um, and, and those sorts of things, uh, and all of the rivets and those sorts of things as well. Um, and then you, you, you're good to go on this. I, as I said, there's a hell of a lot of it, uh, stuff that I wanna detail on this model because it's got a lot on there, you know, black and white on there and a bit more other color. But just for this purpose of having um, some metallics, I think it's great. And as you can tell from the start to finish, this looks great with just, just a few coats of dry brushing. So, um, and again, it dries very, very quickly so you can handle the model. I would normally wear sort of gloves, but I just wanted to kind of show you with, with all of this and, and working on your hands and stuff that it's it's uh, it's doable. Um, and yeah, you know, I hope that's been of help. By all means, please sort of ask any questions, the stuff that I might have missed. But as far as, as dry brushing goes, it's a super fun thing to learn with. Make sure you've got some old models to do it with and you'll end up having some fun building some layers and colors with, with metallics and, and other colors as well. So but if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm gonna be do, using this same model for the next a video which is going to be using some rust and working on rust and aging um, so yeah I'm going to be using this shortly on another video so stay tuned for that but thanks ever so much for watching please like and subscribe if you like it and leave me a comment thanks ever so much cheers bye